Welcome everybody to Dream Right Go. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm DWG, let's get it. Okay guys, thanks for being here and checking out the last video. In the last video, we were talking about my DWG AI synopsis creator. I now have gone from version one to version five. Now, what's interesting about version five is now that it will allow you to pick certain things and it knows to fill out the other information. Also, if anybody's interested in any of these uh, experimental prompts, please let me know. I'll post them. You can definitely use them or whatever. In any case, we're going to try out this DWG Synopsis Creator version 5 first. I'm going to go ahead and copy this here and take it straight on over to Copilot Bing. You want to make sure that we're inside of more creative. And again, I use this as my experimental AI. It is attached to chat GPT four, but this has what's called deep search in it, which allows it to search the web. We're going to go ahead and click on submit. And this is going to start to run this prompt. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and click on continue. And what you'll see here is that it's asking me to fill out this information. So you can fill out whatever it is that you want in here in these different fields. However, if I don't fill them out, and I only fill out uh, one or two of them, I can then fill those out and hit done, and it will go ahead and know to fill out the rest. Let's go ahead and do an experiment on that right now. Let's go ahead and pick genre, which is G-E-N-R-E, -E, space, and I'm gonna say uh, romance, uh, romance, uh, comma, and then pick uh, thriller, right? So we're gonna do, thriller it's just a thriller okay then i'm going to wait did i put too many l's in there i sure did we're going to do that hit uh comma and then i'm going to type in the word done and let's see what happens Okay, and now we have the output. Now you'll see that it went on ahead, it took what I put in the genre, and then it said that, you know, since you didn't fill out the rest, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that out. It did a, a web search and whatnot. It looked for uh, things that it that should be a part of, say a, a sci-fi or a, a romance thriller. And then it went on ahead and created the five high concept ideas. And it went through these ideas right here, which I think is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and and jump back over to my synopsis and then we're gonna minimize. We're gonna go over to the DWG AI synopsis polisher and expander. Now let me explain that the polishing part of it, when you post this prompt, what it'll do is it will take your synopsis right here. Now I just went on ahead and put in an example synopsis. If, if you had this, you would take this out and right in this place, you would paste what was created inside of the synopsis creator. You would paste that here. And this prompt would know to take this information and then it would apply certain levels of polish. Here are the certain levels of polish. You got polish one all the way down to polish seven. Now polish seven is expert level, level two, and it will apply all of this on here. But as you can see, you can gradually go through where level Level one will simplify, and then as you go up, it just adds different parameters, different ways of writing, different targets, different goals as it goes along. And the higher you get up to uh, number seven, which would be G, you're going to have the, the expert polish level two, and this information right here is what would be applied to this information right here. So let's go ahead and do that experiment uh, right now. And so I'm going to zoom out here so you can see the whole thing. And then I'm going to copy all the way up to here. Copy. Now let's jump back on over here to Bing. Make sure that you're underneath more creative. And we're going to paste this on in here and hit submit. Let's see what happens. <laughs> And as you can see here, it took the information that was inside of the synopsis and inside of the prompt, and it added these levels of polish to them. It got level A all the way down to level G, where level G is the expert polish level two. It now asks you, 
Uh, now, please uh, let me know which style resonates with you the most. Choose a letter from A to G and I will expand the synopsis accordingly. So let's just go ahead and go for the whole expert level uh, two. We're gonna go ahead and type in the letter G and then hit uh, enter. And now let's see what happens. And there you have it. It has now taken the style that we have chosen, which was level G, and it has created a, a 500 word synopsis. Usually it doesn't go all the way to 500, but it gets like close to it, okay? Okay, and so that is the DWG AI Synopsis Polisher and Expander. If anybody's interested in any of these prompts, please let me know. I'll post them in the comments. I, I don't know if anybody would like them or not, but hey, you're, you're, you're free to use them if you want to. I wanna draw your attention to one other thing. Here is a person I found online called Writing With AI. I think that you would really like this person. She does very calm type of videos talking about different things that are inside of Writing With AI. She uses Novel Crafter and she also uses some other different resources like uh, something called Poe and whatnot. But I think that you would benefit from checking out this person. Also remember the, the people that I'm telling you about here, I don't know these people. They're not asking me to do this. They don't even know I exist, right? So I'm just telling you because I think it's a good resource for you, you know, the person that has clicked on this particular video. So please check out these other folks and uh, let me know what you think. The other thing is I'm gonna jump on here to Novel Crafter. Every single Saturday, they uh, do this thing that I call class. And it is a wonderful grouping of people that get together and they talk about the different features inside of Novel Crafter. They talk about different AI writing tips and skills and tricks and all kind of different things. The host's name is Kate. And there are some other really interesting people that are in the, the comment section. I don't know if they want, I'm gonna say it. Hey, Spacey! And then Corey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and all the other different authors that are in there, very nice people, please check them out. And also check out Novel Crafter, also not a sponsor of mine, so I'm just telling you because they're good people with a good heart and a great piece of software. This is DWIG, peace. <laughs>